Google, turn on the lights. Okay, turning five lights on. Hi guys, today I thought that I would do like a vlog style evening routine. I don't necessarily have an evening routine because a lot of the time I'm spending my evening like studying or oftentimes in class. But yeah, I thought that I would show you an evening in my life. I actually already ate dinner on campus, kimchi fried rice. It was stellar. I just need to do a little bit of cleaning up that I didn't do this morning. Just take some time to decompress, edit, work on projects that aren't necessarily school related and occasionally finish up some homework. So let's go. talk about sustainability a lot on this channel, but I kind of wanted to drive this point home in 2020. This year, my goal is to basically help make sustainability as approachable and as accessible and as informative for people as possible. I began my sustainability journey like I began my sustainability journey two years ago 
uh, when I actually started working at a Starbucks and I noticed how much plastic and just trash that the store would produce every day. And granted, we weren't a particularly high volume store. We were like an average store. After seeing how much trash we produced, then mentally multiplying that by all of the Starbucks locations on the planet, it kind of just made me realize how wasteful we are in our day-to-day -day lives. And I knew that like sustainability was important and like biodiversity is important, etc, etc. But it always seemed very inaccessible to me until I was able to see the gravity of the situation firsthand. So this year I want to just kind of help make sustainability more of a focal point and try to present it in a way that isn't as, I don't know, I felt like it seemed very overwhelming at first. I felt like I had to throw away everything that I owned and started from scratch. And I want to help you develop some sustainable habits that are sustainable in your lifestyle. That's a double entendre there. It's sustainable because they're sustainable habits and sustainable because you can do them over a long period of time. As you guys know, I freaking love coffee, right? However, coffee produces wastes via filters, bean grounds, and the packaging that coffee comes in. And this year, I'm going to be combating that by composting. I purchased these compost bags last year, and it's important to note that these compost bags are only compostable in industrial facilities. The town that I live in does have a really big green initiative. We have Recology that helps us compost. However, that's not to say that it's perfect and that everyone participates. So if you are curious on whether or not your municipality has a composting option, contact them. When I store my compost, instead of leaving it on the counter and then letting like the fruit flies accumulate, I actually just take this bag and stick it in the freezer. And once I have a few bags worth of compost, I just go and take it out into the composting bin because I'm pretty lazy. And I generally don't produce that much organic waste on a day-to-day -day basis because I do meal prep. So I'm gonna go stick this puppy in the freezer. I'm using the Coxer Hyal Ultra Hyaluronic th 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 words. And because it's a winter, my skincare routine has changed a little bit to add more hydrating products. The first thing that I'm gonna use though, this is something that I use regardless of whether or not it is winter, is some e words a cleansing oil for my makeup. So this is the Coxer Ultra Hyaluronic Cleansing Oil. The only beef that I have with it is that it's kind of greasy because it's not the product itself is like obviously greasy, but like it does a great job. The packaging leaks every time you pump it, so over time grease accumulates on the lid and on the bottle, and TBH it's kind of gross to have like a greasy uh, container. Since it's winter time, my eyes get really dry, so I'm using these eye drops. And if you um, are a contact lens wearer, I find that this is actually a problem with people who use contact lenses for astigmatism. That our lenses dry out really quickly, and so like it gets really uncomfortable in your eyes, you know? I know it looks like I'm like crying and my eyes hurt, but trust me, this is amazing. These um, eye drops are from Blink. They're the Gel Tears Lubricating Eye Drops. These eye drops, in combination with specifically this contact lens solution has made a massive difference. This is the Clear Care Plus Hydroglide with 3% hydrogen peroxide. And it comes in this 
little container and it does like a little hydrogen peroxide plus metal reaction to sanitize your contacts and it's fantastic. One word of warning I will say is that this solution, if it doesn't react all the way with the metal, does burn your eyes. Like so freaking bad. Which makes sense because it's hydrogen peroxide. For facial cleanser, I'm using the D'Alba Piedmont Peptide No Sepa Mild Gel Cleanser. This one's great. Just like a really general mild uh, facial cleanser. I use the Coxer Green Tea pH cleanser in the morning and then occasionally if I feel like my skin needs a little extra TLC, I'll use the Black Clay Cleansing Foam from Padu Lab. I don't like to use that one too much in the winter time because it does strip my skin. This facial cleanser does a really great job at like not stripping the skin, which I really love. I feel like a new woman. Now I like to use the Daily Derma Nightingale Facial Pads. Um, I actually purchased these in Korea and my mom actually picked me up a bunch of extra ones when she was in Korea in like September. They sell them at Olive Young and honestly like they're the best. I have like a pimple right here behind my ear and it hurts so bad. They're definitely not environmentally friendly because like it is a pre-cotton soaked pad and once I get through all these containers like I really want to repurchase them again because I really feel like these are the one this and another product that I mentioned are like the two things that have really saved my skin but I don't know if I'm willing to give them up because I get these really horrible breakouts and they hurt a lot and my skin has made a really massive improvement because of these two products and vanity aside I hate breaking out because it hurts. Next, I have the Dr. Jart Chica Pear Serum. Soothes irritated, sensitive, and sensitized skin. Also, a really great product for the winter time because my skin does get quite irritated um, because of the cold. Oh, just like stood up properly with good posture for the first time all day. My back just did the most satisfying crack. It wasn't very loud though. For sure it was satisfying. When I wear makeup lately, I've been trying to not wear foundation because it's pretty bad for my skin, like my chin is breaking out. Granted, these are probably hormonal as well, and I touch my chin a lot. I'm just trying not to wear as much foundation just because like, I don't like the heaviness, especially when I sweat. Now I'm going to be putting on the D'Alba White Truffle, right, the words, I'm using the D'Alba White Truffle, D, I'm using the D'Alba, I'm using the Dialbo White Truffle First Seer First Spray Serum. God, that was so freaking hard to say. And it's like a two-part serum. It's a little greasy because of my oil cleanser. Cause that's what I store them next to each other. Although now I feel like I shouldn't. So I'm gonna get this a little shake. I think after using this product a little more often now, I think it's really effective to just spray two spritzes in your hand and then slap it on your face rather than spraying it directly on your face like I just did because the mist is so fine and I don't feel like it really gets on your skin all that well. And then next I have the glycolic acid cream from Epiu. Hands down the best thing I've ever used in my entire life. I am on the very last drop of this one. It is an exfoliating acid so you probably do want to wear sunscreen um, just because your skin will be more sensitive to sunburns. Doesn't dry your skin out, just makes your face look freaking beautiful. I'm probably gonna cut the tube here and then try to scoop some extra out later because I love this so much. And that's my skincare routine. If I'm feeling a little dry after, I'll probably slap some moisturizer on, but most of the time I don't. These contacts are like at the end of their lifespan, so I gotta just pull them out and toss them in the trash. A little PSA to contact lens wearers, don't throw them down the sink, don't flush them down the toilet, just stick them straight in the trash. The plastics are not compostable and fish will eat them, then get them in their tummies, which is pretty sad. I read somewhere that Alcon was working on developing like biodegradable solutions to them and there's actually really big demand for them, which is really great to hear. I recently purchased a quip, kind of a tangent. I, re I recently purchased a quip toothbrush because my Philips Sonicare uh, died, it, like stopped working. This is number two in like five years. 
and I figured that this was like slightly cheaper and oral care is actually super important to me because my dad's a dentist and I tried using zero waste toothpaste, like the toothpaste bits, but I actually asked my dad whether or not it was a good solution because it is like baking soda and it's like quite acidic and he actually told me no and it will strip away the enamel of your teeth and it's better to use fluoride based toothpaste. And I feel like I'm someone who used to be pretty cavity prone. So I do my best now to not have to worry about cavities. And like, I don't feel like I can compromise on toothpaste. And it's important to note, let me zoom out a bit. I feel like we see way too much on my face right now. I feel like it's important to note that when you're trying to transition to a zero waste lifestyle or reduce your waste in general, that your health and your safety is so much more important than producing waste. Ultimately, the waste that is produced from me having to like pull a cavity or pull a tooth or pull a, or like have a crown over my tooth or have like implants is significantly more um, in waste than just taking care of yourself. The more you know. slap my retainer and now we have a lisp um <laughs> thanks for getting ready for bed with me it's 11 30 way past grandma's bedtime so i'm gonna go to bed now i'm starting my days with a cup of tea now just because it's like a little cold and the warm beverage is nice in the morning. Probably more hydrating than coffee is. Definitely more hydrating than coffee is. And I found that I haven't been drinking enough water lately. <laughs> Again, this is just really helpful with that. So at the very least, I'll have one cup of tea water to uh, negate like the 80 cups of coffee that I'll inevitably be drinking. I've not actually been too bad. I've been drinking like one, one and a half cups of coffee a day. Significantly better than last quarter where I was drinking like four. Granted, it's only week one. Today I have a really busy day. I have ballet in the morning, my solid state physics class after that, and then I have a four hour lab. And then, guys, the thing I'm most excited for, I'm going to trivia night with my friend and <laughs> I'm getting all excited talking about it. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a really huge dork. Uh, like more so than you already thought. I have this incredible love for trivia and trivia related things, but mostly Jeopardy. So as this vlog is like being filmed right now, the thing that's going on is Jeopardy greatest of all time. <laughs> As you can see, it brings me like a lot of beer and an adultery to joy. We're going to do trivia night tonight, watch Jeopardy Greatest of All Time with my friend because we're both kind of obsessed with Jeopardy and then go to sleep because uh, it'll be a very long day, but I'm so excited. Uh, my dream, right? My dream is to be on Jeopardy before Alex Trebek retires, which means I don't have very long. I have like, what? A few years at most. I should really like start studying for Jeopardy as soon as I graduate because there isn't a better time to study than while you're still in it, you know? I don't think that I would make it very far. Um, I like to, you know, think that I would win. Apply the Jeopardy James technique and like hunt for daily doubles and be pretty ballsy, but honestly, I would just be excited to participate. It's been my dream to be on Jeopardy since. 16. College Jeopardy! There's- I don't know. Am I graduating too early? I don't know, guys. I gotta do some research on how I can, I can get on Jeopardy. 